In my previous videos, we have learned about algebra expressions part 1 and part 2. So have you watched them yet? If not, I suggest that you watch these two videos first and then you come back to this video. In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about algebraic formula and we'll start right now. My name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of algebraic formula. What is a formula? A formula is an equation that shows the relationship between a few variables. For instance, b equals to 4 over 3 pi r cubed is the formula that shows the relationship between v and r and pi is a constant value whereby the value is fixed. What is a variable? A variable is a quantity which does not have a fixed value. Variable is commonly represented by a letter, for example, x, y or z. What is a constant? A constant is a quantity that has a fixed value. For example, the value of pi is 22 over 7 or in decimal 3.142. How to change the subject of a formula of an algebraic equation? The subject of a formula is a variable that is expressed in terms of other variables and the coefficient of the subject must be equal to 1. For example, e equals to mc squared whereby E is expressed in terms of M and C, and thus E is a subject of the formula. Let's take a look at the following example. Given that M is equal to square root of V plus 1 over KV, express V in terms of M and K. So first of all, I'm going to write down the formula over here, which is M equals to square root of V plus 1 over kv. So next, we have to move this square root over to the left hand side. It becomes m square equals to v plus 1 over kv. And then next, I'm going to move this over to the left hand side become kv m square equals to v plus 1. And then we're going to group all the v's together at one side, which means we have to move this over to the left hand side. So kv m square minus v equals to 1 and then next we're going to factorize the v become v bracket km square minus 1 equals to 1 and then in order to get v on the left hand side we have to move this bracket to the right hand side so it become v equals to 1 over km square minus 1 and this is the final answer how to determine the value of a variable Usually, an equation is given in the question and you just need to substitute the values that they give you into the equation and then you find the value of the unknown. Let's take a look at the following example. Given the formula, t is equal to 3m squared minus p over 4, find the values of m when p is equal to 16 and t is equal to 8. So first of all, we're going to write down the formula, which is t equals to 3m squared minus p over 4. Next, we're going to substitute the values of p and t. So p is 16 and t is 8. So t is 8 equals to 3m squared minus 16 over 4. So 8 is equal to 3m squared minus, so 16 over 4 is 4. And next, we're going to shift this negative 4 over to the left hand side, become plus 4. So 8 plus 4 is equal to 3m squared. So 8 plus 4 is 12, equals to 3m squared. So we're going to shift this 3 over, become divided by 3. So 12 divided by 3 equals to m squared. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, equals to m squared. And next, we're going to swap this around because I want my m to be on the left hand side. So m squared equals to 4. In order to get m, we're going to shift this square over to the right hand side. It becomes square root of 
4 and it's positive negative okay so m is equals to so square root of 4 is 2 therefore the final answer is negative 2 and 2 so that's the answer how to solve problems involving algebraic formula normally a formula will be given in a question but sometimes it's not for example if the question is about the volume of a sphere so you must know that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So therefore, you have to memorize and master the formulas of area and also volume of solids so that you know how to solve the question in algebraic formula when the formula is not given to you. Let's take a look at the following example. To solve this question, first of all, we need to know the formula for volume of a sphere. So the formula for volume of a sphere is equals to, so V equals to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we look at the question, express r in terms of V, which means that we have to make sure that r is the subject on the left hand side, which means we have to shift this 4 over 3 pi over to the left hand side. So it become 3 V over 4 pi equals to r cubed. And then we swap this around because I want my r to be on the left hand side. So become r cubed equals to 3v over 4 pi. And then to find r, we shift this cube over, become cube root of 3v over 4 pi. Okay, next so find the value of r when given v is equal to 144 cubic centimeters. So r is equal to, so cube root of 3, so v is 144 over 4 times, so pi is 22 over 7. Okay, next we use the calculator to calculate this. So 3 times 144 is 432 over, so 4 times 22 over 7 becomes 88 over 7. And then we cube root the whole thing. After that, we use the calculator to calculate this, we get 3.251. So that's the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video, which is how to solve HOTS questions in algebraic formula coming up soon. Remember to like my video if you like it and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my latest videos. And thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye guys!